There is no place for distraction at the Irbaihanov Olympic Preparatory School in Russia's wrestling capital of Hasevyurt in the North Caucasus Republic of Dagestan. These young boys are determined to grow up to become Olympic champions. But their Olympic dreams face increasingly impossible odds. In September, in Argentina, the International Olympic Committee will vote to see if wrestling will make its 2020 roster of sports. But that is not the only fight awaiting these Olympic hopefuls. Once these boys become young men, they will face a different kind of problem. In this troubled region, Islamist militants actively recruit able-bodied athletes to join the insurgency in the North Caucasus. But Asruddin Batayev, the head trainer at the Irbaihanov school, says that the dream of becoming an Olympic champion keeps his students in the gym and out of reach of the extremists. In our school alone, we have over 2,000 people. But in general, across the city, we have so many schools that specialize in wrestling. And how many kids we've in some way saved from extremism or terrorism, so they basically don't mess with that. The strict training regimen, backed primarily by funding from the Kremlin, has produced a rich tradition of Olympic champions. Wrestlers from Hasavyurt, a city of roughly 133,000, have won a total of eight gold medals in the previous four Summer Olympic Games. But in the wrestling school just across the street, Zaur Batayev, European champion and graduate of the Irbaihanov School, worries about the financial impact and potential backlash if wrestling is cut from the Olympics. If wrestling is removed from the Olympics, then that will stop funding for some places, and in some places that will close schools. If we rip away all the wrestling gyms, if we close all the gyms and say that your sport is no longer in the Olympics, that will increase crime, that will increase banditry, that will increase all negative things of that nature. But Ruslan Gariev, director of the North Caucasus Islamic Research Center, says that the number of athletes lured away from gyms by Islamic extremists in Hasivyurt is on the decline. Every athlete that goes and joins the armed underground with the rebels is a loss for the state. But if we compare the situation in Hasavyort now to what it was like a year or two ago, back then there was really a lot of terrorist attacks and rebel fighters. But long-term stability in this region of Russia can be difficult to predict. For now, wrestling classes in Hasavyort continue to occupy thousands of young men with high energy and dreams of Olympic glory. But the future of wrestling in Hasavyurt and in Russia's North Caucasus may depend on the future of wrestling as an Olympic sport. Austin Malloy, VOA News, Hasavyurt, Dagestan, Russia.